Yo, it's Mix712 here, making another video. And as you just saw, this video was about, first of all, John Cena and, Sh and Sheamus. So, um, as you know, John Cena has an elbow injury. And he appeared on Monday Night Raw and hit CM Punk with a, um, pipe. And I just want to first of all say, um, I don't advise any John Cena fan to watch this video because I'm not a John Cena fan. I'm a CM Punk fan, Undertaker fan, Jeff Hardy fan, Jericho fan, Daniel Bryan fan, whatever. So, excuse me. So, you might be offended by some of the things I have to say, but I do respect John Cena. So, some of this stuff will come out of respect, but I am not a John Cena fan. Um, first of all, John Cena has an elbow injury. And it should be like two to six weeks. So it'll probably end up being six weeks because that's what the doctor said. And we're going to have him appear pretty much every, you already saw on Monday, pretty much every Raw until Hell in a Cell and he's recovered. And um, I don't know. I mean, if I want him to appear on Raw, this is what I say. I say have him appear. Let's see. One more time. Like, have him appear one time. Like, probably at Hell in the, the, um, the Go Home show for Hell in the Cell. And, that, and then the time before that, probably next week. He comes. He's having. He's talking. And he's having, like, a promo. And then CM Punk just comes and jumps him. Something like that. And also, um. I don't like. How he's being booked. He's being booked as a freaking Superman. He's not Superman. Okay. John Cena is human. Just like me. You. And everyone else on this earth. He is human. Okay. He. He feels pain. He feels emotions. He is human. Just like CM Punk. And every. And any, anyone else on that roster. Everyone. Like I'm saying. Everything that's not. An, an, that is. Breathing and not an animal of any sort is a human. John Cena is a human. He does not. It's not realistic how he, for example, last year, Miz and Alex Riley beat on him for like 25 minutes. And then after it's reversed, the match is reversed, out of nowhere, he gets this burst of energy, this burst of fire, with a, and it comes with a Superman comeback. And gets to win. Also, um, Extreme Rules. Brock Lesnar is beating the crap out of John Cena. You could see he was beating the crap out of him. And some of that was legit. I mean, the punches were. They're letting Brock Lesnar throw real punches. But Cena, you know, of course, comes back again. And I heard that, um, I forget which one. I heard that I think he was supposed to win. And be carried out, or Brock Lesnar is supposed to win. Cena is supposed to get carried out, and he could have an announcement that he wouldn't be back for a while. Now he said he wouldn't be back for a while, but he ended up coming back. He was like there the next Raw. Yeah, he like didn't really leave. He was gone for like one Raw or something. And also, I heard Brock Lesnar threw a fit because, like backstage, because things. Plans were changed, and I don't think he knew about it. And, um, I repositioned my chair. John Cena is not human. I mean, I was going to first of all say, I do respect the guy. I respect John Cena, but I'm not a John Cena fan. And, I think Vince might be working these guys too hard. I mean, I really hate to bring it up, but he... One of the reasons Eddie Guerrero might have had heart... Like, his heart was messed up. I I, I love Eddie Guerrero. His, his heart might have been messed up is because he was worked so hard. He was trying to become a better wrestler every time he went out there. And I think Vince might have been pushing some of his talents too hard. I mean, he's pushed Ray too hard. I mean, even Ray even said it, that he might have pushed himself too hard. And that's why he got his knee injured last week. Yeah, last year or something like that. And John Cena has had neck injuries, like we know from what Batista did. Um, 
hip injuries, his elbow injury right now. I'm pretty sure he might have gotten a shoulder injury or something a couple years back. But yeah, John Cena, he's had pretty bad history with injuries in the past couple years. And I think if he doesn't take time off, it's, it's just going to turn out bad. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, it's going to turn out bad. And if he takes time off, it'll be like, I say, about six months or le- or three or something like that. He t- t- takes time off. It'll be a blessing in disguise because people, because CM Punk has new people to face until he comes back. Um, People get new spotlights. Like, let's see. For example, Ryback. I mean, yeah, Ryback has been squashing everyone. But Cena's gone, and Ryback's already in the main event. It's kind of weird, but, um... With Cena being out, instead of having his... Instead of having, like, video packages or something of his promos at the beginning of Raw, we could be having a tag team match. <laughs> Teddy Long probably booked that, but, um... We could be having, like... Let's say we could be having an Intercontinental title. We could have matches that relate to the inter- Intercontinental Championship. Um, Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler could get time for promos on the Raw. We could get some Rey Mysterio and some car tag team stuff. Um, see a Punk could wrestle some new talent, some people that he hasn't wrestled yet. Which I don't know who could be because he's wrestled lots of people and pretty much everyone. Um, Daniel Bryan and Kane, like, well, they have a decent amount of time, but these young stars could get lot, lots of more time if John Cena took off, and it also benefit John Cena because it help him. And as a wrestling fan, I am getting kind of tired of John Cena. I'm tired of seeing the same old crap every in every Raw. Hustle, loyalty, respect. Always has a smile. Now, if I was John Cena and what happened at um Night of Champions happened to me, and I could have had a, my like eleventh championship, but off some stupid mistake where I didn't bridge the freaking suplex pin. If I was John Cena and in that position, I wouldn't be smiling every single raw. I'd be mad as fudge. I'd be mad as fudge. All right. I'd be mad as hell. I'd be throwing fits, and if it was me, it'd be World War Ten up in this, up in this piece. It'd be World War Ten. I'd be killing everyone. I'd be throwing CM Punk through bridges. I mean, through barricades. I'd toss Paul Heyman into the third row. I'd run over AJ Lee with a car, but that's not gonna happen. So, like I'm saying, John Cena, same old crap. I was I. I think John Cena should, you know, take some time off, recover, heal, work on his ring skills a little bit, work on his match skills, at least a little bit. I mean, he doesn't have to work until he's a level of CM Punk for at least, I don't know. But he needs to work on his skills a little bit. So, yeah, and learn about 10 more moves. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um... I was thinking of something, but I forgot of it. Forgot about it. And, um. Yeah. Yeah. John Cena hasn't been exciting for like the past couple of years. I mean, I want John Cena to do something exciting. Um. I'm not saying turn heel or anything because he probably wouldn't turn heel. But I really want some change. And every week. When Raw comes on, I'm just hoping that CM Punk is getting ready to change that title. Because that title is crap. I'm tired of seeing that title. Because John Cena made that title. And every time we see that, it's kind of like John Cena has it. Because he made it. So even if John Cena doesn't have the title, and freaking Zack Ryder does, it's like John Cena has it. So, yeah. So, um, I think I'm going to end with what I'm talking about John Cena. I kind of did a little rant there. But, um... It's true. It's freaking true. And I think John Cena should at least add a little bit more element to his character. And also, I don't think it's realistic how a man with one arm beat the freaking WWE champion. I don't care if the WWE champion is Undertaker, CM Punk, whatever. I mean, and 
then the fact that they didn't like see a punk even counter or do anything is pretty freaking stupid, alright? So, um, I'm gonna stop raining on John Cena until I, or less, or else I get pretty mad and pretty riled up. So, we're gonna move on to Sheamus. Sheamus, 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 what happened to you? You used to, you used to be this brutal young guy that wanted that title more than anything. And you got it. You destroyed John Cena on multiple occasions. Got the title, got the WWE title twice. Destroyed Santino. Like, injured him. Beat the crap out of Kobe Kingston. John Morrison, all this stuff. You're on a roll. You're destructive. Everything. Brutal. And now... Your world heavyweight champion, who has really brought the title down to its biggest low, pretty much ever. I mean, you went to this brutal young guy, the, to this guy that's now telling Irish folk tales and stealing cars, and is your face, your face, and you're stealing cars and all this stuff, and actually just be a star crap. Pretty much, is, it's stupid. This be a star stuff is stupid, because you have all these you have Sheamus and these guys promoting be a star, but you have John Cena hitting CM Punk with a lead pipe. You have Sheamus, who it's Sheamus stole Alberto Del Rio's car. Sheamus boot boot um hit Otunga with a bro kick after a match, and all this crap. So, this be a star crap is pretty useless. And I just want to go on a little rant on Sheamus. So, um, again, if you're not a Sheamus, if you're a Sheamus and John Cena fan, you shouldn't be watching this video at all. Um, let me reposition myself. So, like I'm saying, um, Sheamus has been burying Del Rio since what? Sheamus has been burying Del Rio since July. I mean, he is pretty much hasn't lost a match since he won that title. And if he had, and if he did lose a match, it was off like a counter or a DQ or something. But yeah, it's unrealistic. It's more unrealistic than John Cena, because John Cena has been losing matches. It might not have been. Let's see, the last match he lost clean that I can remember was WrestleMania. That's the last match I remember John Cena winning clean. But I can't uh, losing clean. But I can't remember last time I saw Sheamus lose clean. I think the last time I saw Sheamus lose clean was probably I can't think of a time. And this might be because I, this might it might be might be like this because I don't watch SmackDown or because I don't watch the pay per views. But I'm not sure. But I really I haven't seen Sheamus win clean in a while. Lose clean in a while. I'm trying to go back to memory. I think the last time was. Uh, I think and my, I was. I think it was probably sometime last year. Probably, maybe. Yeah. Um, Sheamus is just squashing everyone he faces. How many times has he squashed? Well, he didn't exactly squash Dolph Ziggler, but how many times has he pretty near squashed someone like Dolph Ziggler, a Cody Rhodes, Del Rio? He like. He almost looked like he killed Ricardo Rodriguez. I mean, yeah, but the reason I think he brought the title to a low is because he's boring. He's not entertaining. And first of all, he's when he comes back, he does this Super Cena comeback. I think it's more irritating than seeing Cena do it because he doesn't. He doesn't sell. John Cena sells the whole match, then comes it back. Sheamus doesn't sell at all, and if he does sell, he sells for about two seconds. Didn't Del Rio injure his arm like three months ago? And I don't remember seeing Sheamus sell that since the last, since like a week after that happened. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't he doesn't sell moves. He's a he's pretty much a a, a pale ginger version of John Cena. If you're, and if you're ginger or anything or pale, I'm not coming at you. Alright, 
forget that. If you're a ginger or pale, because call me not you, son. Just call me. If, if you're a ginger or pale, I'm not trying to make you look bad or be mean to you. I'm just saying, Seamus is, is a flaming, a flaming male version of John Cena. And I don't care if this video, get, get video gets disliked because if you're a Cena or Seamus fan, because I'm speaking my mind. Just like CM Punk did last summer. Um, and, you know what? I am a Daniel Bryan fan, but I don't want to get into what happened in WrestleMania because we'll be sitting here for a while. I don't want to get into what ha about that 18 seconds of bullcrap that happened. So, um, 